Hello, hello. Welcome back. I'm Claire. This is Purple Poppy. And those of you that have been around for a while will recognise this. We did this, must be a year ago because it's Christmas orientated. Um, and this is what we called our book page paper. Do you remember? And this is what got everybody interested in my ink stained glue. Uh, basically we just cross hatched old book pages, we laid a napkin over the top and we glued it down with a tinted glue and then we were able to use it for whatever we wanted to use it for. Well today I've had the idea to not make book page paper but to make napkin fabric. So what I'm going to do <coughs> is I'm going to start off by doing it and then I'll have to set it aside and do one that I've half done because obviously it needs drying time. I did show you these the other day. These are the lovely bunny ones that came from Tesco if you're in the UK. You can obviously use any napkin for this depending on what you want to use it for. And I've chosen that I want this to be a traveller's notebook cover. So what I've done is I've cut my strip of fabric eight wide and I'm now going to, well not cut it, torn it, I'm now going to tear it eight deep, maybe marginally over like so, move all this out of the way and then I've just tore it off like that. Now this is just the plain fabric as it was delivered to me, it's not being coffee dyed or anything but as you can see it's not white, it's got a natural sort of creamy colour to it, just pulling off those strings, I'm not worried about the extra strings at all. Okay and then what I'm going to do is I'm going to lay my napkin over the top like so okay so obviously the first thing that we're going to need to do is we need to separate our layers as we always do when we work with napkins oops and now I've torn it that's not good is it right separate the backs we can keep that and use that for something else now obviously unlike the ones we used last year that were all going in the same direction this is upside down so i'm going to need to use a wet brush to cut it off because i don't want the upside down bit on my book cover okay so i've just separated it out like that and i'm going to make sure that when i put it on I put it on so this wording is not on there and yes we'll have a plain bit at the top which I didn't have my other one but that's you know that's the way of things so we've got our fabric and I've put it up there for you eight by eight fabric okay and we've got our napkin and then it is a simple case of applying glue now you can obviously use whatever glue you like to use I'm using PVA that's been uncolored this time there's no color in it okay and I'm just gonna cover this completely with this PVA now obviously because it's fabric it's gonna soak it up that is no problem whatsoever okay and I've just thought you know there are times when you want to do a journal and you want a fabric cover but you haven't got you know a fabric match for your subject matter or whatever so you're a little bit stuck and you end up or you might not but I do end up making do because um, it's a similar color 
um, it's not perfect, but you know, it's okay. Well, I thought doing this, making sure we got glue on all of it. If we did the fabric like this for the journal cover and just press it down, we then do a piece of card as well. Remember, obviously, don't rub it because if you rub it, you're going to rub a hole in your fabric, which, uh, not your fabric, your napkin, which we don't want. Okay. Once you get glue on your finger, swap fingers, and just press it home. See, I can put a little hole in that there, because I've got glue on that finger. Okay, just press it home. Don't play with it too much, as you'll ruin it. Okay, and then what I'm going to do is I'm going to lift it off of here, like so. I'm going to move my skanky board, pop that on the floor, and then this is just a recycled rubbish bag, but you could use any kind of plastic. I'm just going to put it on there to dry, okay, and set that to one side. Then I've got a piece of that cheap white card that I've showed you recently. And I've scored where I want to cut four tags. So I scored at two and seven eighths by five and a quarter. And I did that twice. And then I scored at three and one eighth by six and a half. And then that will give me the perfect cut lines for, um, for my tag sizes. I'm just trying to find the other half of the napkin. So, I'm going to do these two first because obviously these are slightly shorter. So I'll do that like that. And I'm just going to run my wet paintbrush down the middle to separate this in half and then I'm going to apply that with the bottom on my score line so that whoops make sure you don't overlap your score line because you don't want this napkin on those two Okay, and then I'm gonna whoops, and I'm gonna do the other two exactly the same way. Only obviously these are longer. Okay. Turn that round, grab my other one, and I'm going to apply that to the bottom of those two. And again, set that aside to dry, okay? So now we have those set up and ready to go. Now obviously they have to dry so I couldn't go any further with them. So make sure that's not too strong. That is a bit sticky actually, isn't it? I'll tell you what. Let's put this. No, because that's going to be patterned. i put you off, isn't it? Do it that way. Okay. So what I did then is, once it had dried, I put another layer of PVA right across the top so that this napkin is now sandwiched between the fabric on the back, the glue on the top, and then I just did three rows of scruffy stitch 
around the mid around the edges and I've folded it in half and now apart from the closure on whatever I may want to do inside I've got a fairly strong fabric to use for my TN cover now for the actual journal I've used 10 pages 10 pages will give me 40 sides so I took A4 coffee dyed paper and I scored at four inches and at seven and seven eighth inches and then I concertinaed it, okay? The pieces that were smaller, I've just obviously scored at four. And by doing that, what I've now got is a 40 page Travelers and Notebook journal, just like that. Now, where I concertinaed my pages, let's move this out of the way, let's take that away, you can see that it's quite close to the edge, okay? Now, you've got to decide whether you want this flap out so that when you open your journal, you can have a double page, whether you want to Trim it up slightly just to ensure that it doesn't catch on your spine area. So by taking that little edge off and putting it back, you can see that it doesn't catch because it's much shorter but you've still got a large fold out area and you'll need to decide whether you do that to every page every other page or if you don't like that look and you don't want to do that at all obviously that's going to be your choice but my intention is that I'm going to decorate up this front I'm going to put pockets on the inside and pockets on the inside back and then I'm going to leave it completely plain so that it is a writing journal. It's got some interesting pages that are mainly vintage from my stash but it's got a lot of coffee dyed pages. And it's just plain and I will sew it in and the reason I want to put pockets here is because to tie it all in as more of a set this is the scored sheet I'm going to cut the tags and this way I can put two tags in the front pocket and two tags in the back pocket okay so going to trim that down there, trim this one down here, and as you know I'm absolutely rubbish at cutting a straight line, so I doubt very much these are straight, oh it's not too bad actually, might have to dress that up a little bit, it's a spare piece there, Another spare piece. Here are two short ones. Okay. And then these are our two long ones. Like so. So then, oh, that's stuck over. Try not to let that happen. That's a bit of a nuisance. Um, sorry, so then from an 8x8 piece of fabric, a piece of cardboard and 10 pieces of paper from our stash, we've created a journal and two tags. So now I'm going to set about prettying these all up because obviously this tree pattern, whilst it's delightful it, and seasonal, it is only a background. I don't want that to be the finished look. So I have got um, my little cutouts box 
to the side there, um, which I'll pull in in a minute, and I can um, I can what can I do? Um, I can decorate these up. I'm really sorry if you can hear the noise in the background. Um, I don't know what's going on next door, but they seem to have some very heavy B music on way too loud today and it's obviously upset Boo because now Boo's barking as well so I do apologize about background noise it's just life and there's not a lot that any of us can do about it really I feel like that is going on the angle just trim that a little bit okay there's those two Let's do this one. Oh, here comes the postman now, so there'll be even more noise. I do apologise. The trouble is, the postman never comes at the same time. So, boo, mummy's filming. Um, so it's hard to work out, you know, when you can film and when you can't. Hopefully, he's going to go straight past or just put something through the letterbox and he's not going to knock. Oh, it sounds like he's going to knock. He is. I'm so sorry. One second. Thank you. Right. I do apologise. Although it is a parcel and it has got my name on it. So that could be quite exciting. We'll find out in a minute. Right. So... Trim this off. Um, you can obviously stitch these to match the stitching on the cover and make them into like a complete set. Right, that glue's now dry, so I can get rid of that. Um, I'm not going to stitch them now because um, obviously it would mean getting the sewing machine up and making lots of noise, more noise for you, etc. So I'm not gonna do that. I'm just gonna run round and ink them up. I obviously didn't ink up the cover, but I suppose if you wanted to, you could. That wouldn't be a problem. And I did, when I went out the other day, get myself some new um, makeup sponges. So hopefully, when this one falls apart, because waste not, want not, but let's be honest, it's not going to be very long, is it? Um, we can move forward with one that actually works. Right, now I can just see there that score line where I obviously didn't trim that close enough. So trim that off and put some more colour on. That makes me a lot happier. So that's that. Right, I'm not gonna ink the rest because I know that's very boring for you all. I can ink them later when I, just before I sew them. But in my cutouts box here, I have got all sorts whoops, of lovely goodies so i want to see what i can be putting on here that is going to be appropriate for sort of christmas because obviously it's a christmas um i feel like this is not the box that i actually wanted to be in Oh, we've got some Christmas sort of fabrics going on here. It's a bit, the birds are a little bit summery though, aren't they? Right, I think we're going to have to get rid of that box and we're going to have to get my Christmas box out. Let's put this up here because you don't want to be bombarded by all of that, do you? Um, because here I've got some Christmas fabrics and some Christmas papers 
we've got a couple of little wooden uh, wooden charms. Let's have a little look and see how this pans out. Do you know what I think? I think I had the wrong box. I think that was the problem. Let's just have a little look. Yes, you see, that's the box that I want. Because that has got some beautiful fabrics. That was that um, Happy Mail. And we've got stamps and things in here. That's the box that I really want. But we'll keep the wooden charms out. Right, so let's see where we go. So we've got some stamps in here. And a ticket and I have got some pre-cut photographs what have we got in here we've got more stamps in here so we can have a look at that we've got some numbers in there so let's have a little look and see how we get on odds and ends in here apparently right there you go that's much better that's what I wanted so I think um, who do we want on this one do we want these really really cute kids I think that's awesome right so I'm gonna get rid of this Christmas box because it's filling up the table see that's because the postman knocked I feel all dithery and not very with it now but anyway let's chop off a bit of cheesecloth that's always a very good place to start okay so we don't want all of that obviously trim that in half like so I'm gonna pop that on like that and then they can sit on top and then obviously it's Christmas, isn't it? So maybe a, a first class mail would be nice. Um, what else have we got? <coughs> Excuse me. Coughing away. We could maybe have a number six up there. Um, look, we can put a whoops maybe a parcel post underneath so there's the start <coughs> excuse me so let's pull these back off let's put a little bit of glue across that needle like so let's put our cheesecloth down like so now i'm going to need a little bit of ink here aren't I, for these so we've got this parcel post here just ink these white edges i'm going to put that about there and that will pick up the glow through the cheesecloth that's fine let's ink up this picture I love this picture so so cute this little boy and girl pretending to be all grown up I think it's awesome glue him like so whoops him just on that parcel post label like so ink up the edges of this first classed classed class mail like so
You know how I like things on an angle. So we'll pop that down there like that. We're going to ink up our number six. See, I, I'm thinking they're pre-inked. I keep going to just stick them down. So let's ink this up. Not ink, you see? I don't know what I'm doing. Glue. Glue this up. Put that to that side there. Just straighten that up. Because it's either deliberately on the angle or it's as straight as we can make it. We don't want it pretend straight, do we? Here we go. So that is our first one looking rather sweet. I like that one. And then obviously if I put green sticking around there, that's going to be lovely. So I'll set that to one side. What are we going to do with our second one? Because obviously this is slightly different. Oh look, although I like the idea of posting at Christmas. So we might keep the post office just trim that up, sorry. Keep the post office express. And obviously if you're not doing Christmas, which I think a lot of people almost finish their Christmas makes now. Um, maybe haven't. I oh, know I haven't. But then obviously you just choose your fem ephemera appropriately. So we've got the parcel post or the express post. Oh, we could have ticket. There. And do you know what? For this one, I think I want to put a piece of this vintage paper behind my photograph. So let's do that and do that. Which photograph this time? Grandad? Little boy. Oh, stunning soldier. Look at this. Awesome. So we could pop that on there. Like so. No, not that one. This one. And then I'll find some green um, ribbon or wool or something to apply to this. Right, so let's work this out. Let's move my scissors. That one hasn't been inked, has it? Let's ink that up. Okay, I think the ticket goes on first. No cheesecloth on this one. Make them all slightly different. The same but different, as it were. So I think the ticket goes on first and it goes there. And then our express post goes. There, like, like so, and then our vintage paper. It's only book page, but I'm going to add another colour and dimension. That's going to just skim the edge of that post office ticket. And then our handsome soldier is 
these going. There. Like so. Try and straighten that up. Whoops. We moved our express post. That's because that glue is still wet. And obviously once we ink up this edge, that is going to be lovely. So that's that one. Right, now we've got the slightly larger ones, haven't we? So we don't like that one because that's I know is butterflies. What have we got in there? Nothing. What's it? Oh, clocks. Do I want a clock? Countdown time to Christmas, don't you? Might want a clock. Obviously, you can use whatever you want to use. Just what have I got pre cut here? Um, I'm trying to find 12, make sure it goes up the right way. Do we want roses? Not really, though, do we? So maybe not clocks. What have I got in here? Oh look, we've got a die cut of some like almost tree type. <clears throat> so we could three dimension that, couldn't we? I think I'm going to put a photo on them all because that means that the background and the photo keeps it uniform and then everything else will be marginally different. I think that's the way we're going to go. So we'll ink up the edge of the photo. And then um, we will put cheesecloth on this one as well again, I think. So do we want all this? This looks like too much to me. Although it does mean it's going to stretch. Actually, let's use it all. We've cut it off. Let's use it. Like so. What are those? Scrunch it up a little bit if you think it's too big. And then do my new picture. I believe it's almost lunchtime. I feel like I haven't really done anything this morning. It's mad. Hubby's gone off out to a meeting. And I always find when he goes off out, I get my head down and I do loads of odd jobs that I don't do when he's here. I've made a load of mince pies to go in the freezer this morning. Um, and done some mining. Um, I do loads of things I don't normally do when he's here. And then the time just completely, completely just runs away with me. I think we'll put that on top of there. But hang on, because do we want one of these underneath? Um, do we want maybe a vintage sticker underneath? Because that is, oh no, I like this number. Perhaps it's because, you know, there's a certain amount of red. I'm trying to keep postage off of this one, because we've done postage on the other two. And we've got this die cut, which is completely different to the other two, which is nice. I think I'm going to put this down first. And we might see if we can get one of those wooden beauties on so let's go diagonal with that one excuse me yeah see lunchtime hungry let's whoops 
Oops. I have my fingers again, when I? I don't mind these strings. I like these strings from the cheese cloth. That's good. And then what have we got in here? We've got an angel or Christmas tree. That's all I've got left now. I'm wondering if the Christmas tree should maybe just sit up there. Although, of course, the Christmas tree is quite deep and it will make it difficult to um, tuck into a pocket. So that might be why I've kept rejecting them. We've got ledger label here which is a different kind of number do you remember when we made these we took a ledger sheet and we just um, put our stamp our stamp no um, over the ledger page and then we just trim them out just trying to see what else I've got in here more tickets. Uh, what tickets are these? Oh, these are train tickets. I might use these. On the other one because. Hmm, I feel like I want something up here. Need to find something to put up there. We don't want any post. So should I bring that vintage one back in? No, it doesn't feel very vintage, does it? We're not using any post. We've got numbers down there. Oh, you see, these are all postage orientated, aren't they? Apart from this one. That's one of those ledger ones. I might just put that there. But let's just put like a little bit of doily underneath it just so it doesn't look at like it's floating around in midair if that makes sense I'm just going to put that bit of doily there like oh apparently not like so apparently it's just going to stick to my fingers and then let's ink up this edge Obviously, once we um, stitch all around the edges and put some ink on, it's going to look different anyway. So, you see, and I've put it up, well, on the slant now. I think that's better. So that's that one. And then our very last one. I am tempted to use this amazing little cluster that came to me in that beautiful happy mail um, and I want it sort of on that angle but then I that red ticket is no good I need a ticket that is cream or aha uh -huh, it's cream so if we go like if we go like so Bring that ticket down, and then maybe he goes there. We need to see more ticket, don't we, really? Like so. We like that. Yeah, because I think you can see enough of um, the background tree oh I've got some bows in here haven't I I forgot I have bows hang on let's look at have we got
this is having a little fidget in this box that's a bit too big go with some small ones i think i probably used all of ah oh, all of the small ones now do we think that maybe that whilst that fabric cluster is absolutely gorgeous it might be a little bit too big <coughs> And I don't really want to cut it down. So do we go more? We could do like book lover. Maybe a bow. Or do bows not work with men? <laughs> Is it maybe the wrong photo? Is that what's doing it? Hmm. Oh, I don't know. I don't know. I think I'm going to save that beautiful cluster and I'm going to use that for something else. Aha. Uh -huh. This appears to be the right colour bow, the right colour ticket. And maybe what we need is a cuter photograph. Yes, you see, we got there, didn't we? Right, okay. So, let's ink up our pieces. Made lovely mess on the desk, haven't I? Never mind. These things are sent to try us, as they say. Now, the, photo, uh, the ticket has got to go down first. In my opinion. So, the ticket is going to go on an angle there. Okay. The photograph, which will ink up this edge. It's gonna go down further, so it's gonna go and it's gonna go on an angle that way, and then that bow will just sit up. Oh, see, love it when a plan comes together. Okay. <coughs> So that goes, where do we do it? About there. And then this bow, we just get a little bit of ink around there. I'm sitting here going, I wonder what's in that parcel. Can't, because I don't believe that I've bought anything but then I am awful because I buy things and I don't know I've bought them well I, of course I know I've bought them that's ridiculous I forget that I've bought them <laughs> don't tell hubby I buy things willy nilly totally forget I've bought them um, <clears throat> and then they turn up and I'm like oh yeah I forgot about that well, I've got to be honest and say there was a time when I was doing my day job where because I wasn't here um, all the time and I wasn't sure if I was going to be in the middle of making and not be able to open the workshop door or whatever, I used to send a lot of my work parcels here. So that was really bad because then you'd have loads and loads of parcels coming in. Um, and I'd sort of forget and I used to leave a list on hubby's desk so that when I got home from work I would open just the lid and open it properly I'd open just the lid I'm thinking we don't actually need this I think that's excess so I'm going to get rid of that so I think once that's stitched and inked it doesn't really want anything else on it Okay, let's get rid of all these. Um, yes, yeah, sorry, so I could just, as I say, open the lid, tick them off from the sheet. 
um, and we'd know where we were because you know it's like sometimes parcels do go astray and there can be so much time lapse and you don't necessarily realise till it's been longer than the seller wants to deal with you for as it were so we've got our four tickets and our oops our journal innard and now i've got these pieces left so i'm thinking these two square ones would be perfect for our pocket Or do we want the longer, long, thin one? No, I like these ones. But what I'm going to do is I'm going to... Now, let me think about this. So I'm going to fold them round this way. Okay. And I'm going to cut, not a proper triangle, but... A slant yeah and then trim this edge I'm gonna pop that in there like that and I'm gonna pop that in there like that and that will be our pocket but I want to get a serious amount of ink on that first. So let's just get that one. Cut those edges off. Again, you could stitch around these before gluing them down if that's what you wanted to do. Now I'm only going to glue on two sides and I will undoubtedly, I've just put all that away, but find something to go, whoops, see, and I've glued that despite saying I wasn't going to. I'll leave that there to go a bit tacky. Let's do this one. You have to bear in mind that obviously with a TN, you're only working with sort of four and a half inches compared to five and a half, six with a standard journal. And that might not sound like much, but that's quite a lot. So, whoops. I think we'll have a bit of doily on here because we just tore one up anyway, didn't we? Goodness knows where it is now. See, this is what happens when you're a messy worker. Um, probably a bit of cheesecloth and then maybe one of those postal type labels because we have got quite a few of them have we not okay let's glue two sides claire not all of it concentrate on what you're doing there we go two sides so that one i'm going to put it inside the stitching because I think that's appropriate. And obviously, if you're somebody who uses Fabri-Tac, this is the ideal time to use Fabri-Tac, but the Kalau, I find, works just as well. Inside that stitching on that side as well. Okay. 
Okay, we're going to have a bit of cheesecloth. Whoops. This is obviously way too much. But hey ho. So we're going to have a little bit of cheesecloth coming off this corner, I think, because that'll. I don't know what I did with that doily. <clears throat> So, we're probably going to have to just use another one. We'll have a bit of doily there as well. And then I'm going to put something on top. So, let's get some glue in this corner. Like that. And let's stick that on all together like whoops so I've got glue on my fingers so of course that's sticking to my fingers and I'm going to do exactly the same on the other side except I can't there we go me there it is <clears throat> so I have another piece of this doily and obviously I'm only using the filigree type edge I'm not using the center and yeah they're slightly different but that doesn't really matter now we put all this away didn't we let's have oh actually do you know what we could probably get a christmas tree on there because um it doesn't matter if that's a little bit pokey does it you know whereas it would have mattered on the tag going in and out of the pocket so if i do first class mail and then we could maybe put a real Christmas tree on there like that that's quite cute isn't it so <clears throat> okay we are motoring here today I won't be making this into a mini series or anything I'll probably just come back when I've done um, when I've done and show it as like a flip through you don't want to see everything as a series do you not really right that's that one and then on this side, um, that's that first class now. You see, we could do that one. We could do it straight. And then um, one of these, maybe one of these ledger ones. So... I don't know that we want, although they are the same, so it would make sense, would it not, to put the tree on? Because that, they are based, yeah, let's, let's just repeat, I think, make it all but a carbon copy. I mean, obviously, it's never going to be a carbon copy because it's handmade, but let's make it as near as we can. So they're the same. Let's put a little bit of glue on here. Is that one? And 
and then we're just going to pop that one down there. Okay, so we've got terrible gluey fingers, as you can see. Everything's sticking to me. I'm not quite sure how long I've been filming for, but, and obviously it's not completely finished. Here we go with one large tag. Large tag. One small tag. And obviously I've not put strings in them or sewn them or anything yet. But just to show you what was, as it were, my plan. So there you go. There's two tags. And there is our cover. Now obviously I'll do something similar to the tags on the cover. Um, so I would use some vintage paper and decorate up that up with more layers. But just like that with 10 sheets of paper 8 by 8 piece of fabric 1 for, uh, A4 sheet of card and 2 napkins we've got a beautiful cover with pockets front and back and a naked journal boom boom so as always do it that way because it's open it's opening it's a gate of mouth already um as always thank you so much for joining me hope you found some fun and inspiration in that i'm off to open my parcel now see you later bye <laughs>